In this video, we'll take a look at auto test results with Inlink Live. The topics covered will be what are auto test results, filtering results, results overview, results detail, attachments, managing results, and generating reports. Whenever an auto test is run on a NetAlly unit and the following are true, the tester is claimed to an organization in Link Live, store results is enabled within Link Live, and the tester has an internet connection, the results of the auto test will be uploaded to Link Live and may be viewed in results. Here we can see some of the results from the AirCheck G2 that has been claimed to the organization. There are four ways we can filter on the results. These are the search dropdown, folders, date range, and result status. Using the search dropdown, we can search on folder names, labels, or any text in the results record. This is a great way to filter down on records that share the same label or partial label text. Clicking on the search field will show a list of all available search options. In another video, we discussed folders and how to use them to organize results. Clicking on the arrow next to the folder icon will display a list of all the folders within the organization. Selecting a folder will display only those results that are contained within the folder. There are times when you're interested in only the results for a certain date or date range. This filter option may be used to specify those dates. If you specify only a start date, all the results after that date will be displayed. If you only specify an end date, all the results before that date will be displayed. There are three status values that may be used for filtering. These are errors, errors and warnings, or all. This is a great way to focus in on those auto tests that have failed or had warnings. Let's select a test result. In the overview box, we see the following. The unit that was used to run the test, the date and time of the test, the type of media, wired or wireless, the nearest device, profile name, the folder name, and any labels that have been assigned to the result. On the right side of the screen, we see the result details. These will vary from unit to unit and test to test. Any of the fields in blue may be used to create a filter. Just click on the field and it will be added to the filter criteria at the top of the screen. Any folder information and labels will be displayed above the results detail. Labels may be added to the result by clicking on Add Label. Clicking on the drop-down next to Add Label will display a list of all the existing labels. This is a great way to maintain consistency when adding labels. Below the result details are attachments. These may be images or files related to the result. Screenshots and pictures may be uploaded from the AirCheck G2, LinkRunner G2, LinkRunner 10G, and the Etherscope NXG. Wireless connection logs and performance graphs may also be attached. In addition to uploading images and files from the units, attachments may be added within Link Live. This is accomplished by dragging the file into the Link Live result or clicking on Add Attachment and selecting the file. This is a great way to add documentation to the auto test result, whether for future reference or a troubleshooting ticket. There are times when you want to delete records. This is accomplished by clicking on the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen and selecting Delete. If you would like to delete multiple records, select each record to be deleted and then click on Delete. All of the records matching the filter criteria may be deleted by clicking on the selection box at the top of the list of records. Clicking on the action button in the lower right corner of the screen displays two report options. These are generate PDF and generate CSV. 
all the records that meet the filter criteria will be included in the report. Generating reports for hundreds or thousands of records can take a significant amount of time. When selecting a PDF report, you may include the following. Your company logo, report title, labels, subtitle, a description of the report, and images. Clicking on Generate will start the report generation process. The completed report will be available in the Uploaded Files section of Link Live. CSV, or Comma Separated Values Reports, are a way to get the raw data from the auto test results. This is useful when you'd like to analyze the data in tools such as Microsoft Excel. This CSV data may also be imported into database tools that support CSV imports. Here's an example of the CSV file that's generated. In summary, auto test results are uploaded from NetAlly units that have been claimed to the organization. The results may be organized using folders and labels. The results provide detailed information about the unit and the test. Both PDF and CSV reports may be generated based on the results. Be sure to check out our other videos on getting the most out of Link Live.